You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Trans for Black and White Sports. Well, we got a pretty wild story here involving the Wolverines head football coach, Jim Harbaugh. Now, I like Jim Harbaugh a lot. I like how eccentric he is. I like the fact that he was caught years ago on video, literally, and this was this was just in the last like three or four years, caught him on video in Walmart buying his khakis. I kid you not. I mean, we're talking about a guy that can still be grounded, a guy that went out there and said, "We, me and my wife, we are pro-life. And if I feel like some of the students on my team can, if they, if they, if a woman comes up pregnant, they can't take care of the baby. My wife and I will take care of the child. I mean, usually you get totally canceled over something like that, but Harbaugh's personality is just too big for the room. Well, there is something grounded about Jim Harbaugh, and there was an ice storm that just recently hit people in the north. And there was an Ann Arbor police officer that needed help. Jim Harbaugh jumped out there and helped him during the middle of an ice storm. And that footage has emerged. And it's pretty cool from the head football coach of the Wolverines. This is Fox News. Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh springs into action to help Ann Arbor policemen. Body cam footage shows. And I'm going to show you that footage. He was being a good Samaritan in Ann Arbor on Wednesday night. Police officer Howard Cooper was trying to clear a large tree that fell in the middle of the road when he noticed that a van pulled up behind his car. A man got out of the van and wanted to help him move the tree. Cooper figured out the Wolverines head coach was the one he was working with. OFC Cooper then gave coach a pair of work gloves and And the two of them went to work. Ann Arbor police posted on Twitter. After about 10 minutes, they were able to inch by inch get an entire tree moved to clear a lane for traffic to pass through. We want to thank Coach Harbaugh for being a valued member of Ann uh, Ann Arbor community and helping out OFC Cooper. Body cam footage showed the entire encounter in which Harbaugh and Cooper eventually pushed the tree aside. So, let's take a look at this. Can I snap it or move it? Yeah, I'm trying to move it. (laughs) God, I started to lose. I'm going to stand free of that. Can we try to rotate it? I don't know. Rotate it. Push it this way? I guess, yeah. Okay. He's like, what do you think? I don't know. What do you think? A little better. Clear one lane at least. (laughs) I appreciate you. This guy... Cops got to be thinking, is this Jim Harbaugh? <laughs> Should do for a lane, yeah? Yeah, you definitely get by there for sure. Yeah. All right. What's your name? Cooper. Cooper, nice to meet you. Too. You as well. Thank you, sir. You're a good man. Oh, hey, feel free to spread the word on that. Uh, of course. I feel like you got to keep that yourself. <laughs> no way. <laughs> You're a good guy. Whew. That's funny. Well, I That's hilarious. You again, man. All right, well, thanks for what you do, man. Appreciate thank you. That. Wow, and thank the cop. You have a good night. That works. That's good. That's good. In this day and time, we don't have enough people involved in sports that are thanking the police. Cooper then told Harbaugh, you're a good man for helping out. Hey, feel free to spread the word on that. Thanks for what you do, man. Harbaugh will continue to be a member of the Ann Arbor community after rumors that he was going to the NFL amid the multitude of head coaching vacancies around the league, though he did take a meeting with the Denver Broncos and spoke to the Panthers. Harbaugh ultimately made the decision to continue coaching the Maize and Blue. 
quote, I love the relationships that I have with at Michigan coaches, staff, families, administration, President Santa Ono, and especially the players and their families. My heart is at University of Michigan. I once heard a wise man say, don't try to out happy happy. Go blue. Go blue. Indeed, coach. Harbaugh said in a statement, and of course, they go on to talk a little bit about uh, sanctions that may or may not be coming to Michigan here pretty soon. I think that's pretty wild. Gets out of the car like the everyday dude. And that's sort of the thing that I kind of appreciate appreciate about Jim Harbaugh is that's the way he's always come across is authentic. I mean, truly, his players love him. When he coached the 49ers, that was my team. Look, the the 49ers players absolutely love Jim Harbaugh. They those players still love Jim Harbaugh. And um I appreciate this. He thanked the cop for what he does. Good luck, Jim. Much like you got all the backlash for coming out as publicly pro-life, uh, you'll probably get hammered for uh, publicly supporting uh, the police, which is ridiculous. So I saw this. I thought it was cool, and I was like, you know what? We're doing a video on Jim Harbaugh helping out the police, which is something we just don't see very often in sports anymore. You know, it's crazy. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Jim Harbaugh put his gloves on, did a little work. By the way, he was squatting, squatting in his khakis. (laughs) This was a couple of weeks ago. The guy is out of control. Him and those damn khakis. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.